So it's Boxing Day 2012 and welcome to another one of my recorded analysed chess games on chess.com. This was a tournament game where in the tournament everyone played the same first two moves. So everyone was playing the same opening and the opening was d4, d5, c4, queen's gambit and c6, uh, the slav. Um, other ways to defend this um, the queen's gambit of course are to accept it black could play uh, d times uh, d t takes c4 um, and after for example um, <coughs> e4 um, white's threatening to win back the pawn and black can try to keep this pawn or um, he can give it up some later stage in this opening um, white has this strong center and uh, black has lost some initiative and some central pawns but he does have the extra pawn so some people um, play that um, the other way of, of not accepting the gambit is to play something like um, e6 which is the, the standard queen's gambit declined but in this particular tournament everyone was forced to play c6 as their second move as black and this is the slav defense now in this position, um, white normally plays knight f3 or knight c3, um, white played e3, um, I played knight f6 and then my opponent played knight f3. Well, normally people see knight f3 first followed by e3, but by transposition we've reached a fairly standard line of, of the modern way of, of playing the slav. Um, I then played pawn to e6. Now I'm not entirely sure of this move. One advantage of the Slav over the standard Queen's Gambit declined is that in the Slav, the white squared bishop on, on c8 is not hemmed in by the pawn on e6. But by playing e6, um, it seems to me I, I've, I've got that problem anyway. Um, so I'm not very familiar with the Slav defense actually. Um, and I was only playing it because th this tournament was um, was a Slav tournament. So I, I don't think it's a, it's a great move, um, but it's what I played. Uh, Black then played uh, knight c3, which looks quite a natural move. Um, and common for Black now is um, is is knight uh, b to d7 or or bishop e7 or bishop d6 but I played bishop um, b4 pinning the knight and white played bishop d2 uh, breaking the pin um, I then castled on the king side and um, white played pawn to a3 now one reason I'm not convinced that bishop b4 was my best move as black is that um, now white's played a3 and I have to force it forces my bishop back um, and this seems to me to to win a tempo because for example I'm going to go to e7 well I could have gone to e7 um, first time in one move and now I've taken two moves so when I say I've lost the tempo that's that's what I mean in the meantime white's also got this pawn advance um, in the in the bargain as well so um, white then played uh, b4 and it's clear that he's now going to um, attack on the, on the queen side um, I played um, a6 uh, to defend um, I may have been better playing knight b to d7 you can see in this configuration I'm having some difficulty um, in developing my queen side pieces and I don't have a great many good squares to move to um, white played at c5 uh, further cramping my style and I played uh, bishop d7 actually chess.com's engine which I looked at later chess.com's online chess engine which members of chess.com um, can, can actually use to analyze their games afterwards um, actually said that bishop d7 was a mistake and recommended knight e4 um, 
and actually I also analysed my games on Sigma Chess on my Mac uh, and that also recommended Knight e4 as the best move for black here but I played Bishop um, to d7 and white then played Knight e5 both of the chess engines I looked at after the game are putting white about a pawn up in this position and certainly black's position looks to me a little bit passive so I think it is it is solid enough at, at this stage I then played um, bishop e8 and I'm looking basically to find some space to get my knight out onto d7 um, I probably should have looked at pawn a5 uh, a bit more carefully than I did do and white played pawn to f3 well I think bishop d3 would have been um, the natural move to play and by playing f3 although obviously white is looking to play perhaps um, e4 sometime soon um, it does seem to me that white is neglecting his kingside development this bishop still on its starting square white still hasn't castled and you'll see later that white gets into some trouble because um, he leaves his king um, in the center of the board and leaves it open along this diagonal h4 to e1 and that's where the game is eventually eventually won and lost so i think f3 is probably not uh, a, a great move for white um, I then moved knight to d7 um, and white uh, retreated his knight to d3 um, and I moved king to h8 I made this move because um, I, I'm, I'm st sort of anticipating a push by white pawn to e4 and then pawn to e5 I'm a little bit cramped here and I want to make space to make sure that I've got somewhere to put this knight on f6 he can drop back into the into the g8 square for example white did indeed push the pawn to um, to e4 as as his uh, his next move um, and of course it's threatening to go e5 next next move I push my knight back to to g8 probably it's a little bit passive um, but I'm also wanting to advance my own pawns here, my f pawn and my e pawn, and I wanted to get the knight on f6 out of the way. Um, white pushed the pawn forward, e5. I'm not at all sure this is is the best move. It 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 relieves the tension in the center and leaves this fairly solid pawn formation. Um, after which it's hard to see um, where white can make any more progress he probably should, should have looked at bishop e2 in this case um, and I played f6 which is the start of my uh, my fight back uh, and I can start to see my game could become a little bit freer over the next few moves um, black played pawn to f4 actually knight f4 is a sort of interesting move because it's threatening to go in here to uh, e6 forking uh, queen and rook I'm sure black looked at that but of course bishop to uh, f7 is a perfectly good um, response so black played f4 again missing an opportunity to develop this bishop on f1 to um, to castle the king into safety um, I exchanged pawns and uh, black took back with the pawn um, well I quite like this position for black now uh, I have an open file the f file I have a rook placed on that file and my bishops on e8 and e7 look as if they could spring into action fairly quickly and and, and cause some damage um, so in this position I played bishop 
a G5. Um, wh why did I do this? Um, well, um, when a player is in a cramped position, which I am, it's often a good idea to exchange a piece or two because that can ex basically free up the position. Um, so when you're cramped, you should try to exchange pieces in general. Um, when your opponent is cramped, you should try to avoid exchanges. And um, and I think in, in this position, you should um, think about pausing the video just for a minute or two and thinking, if you were white, how would you respond to the move that Black's just played? What would you play if you were white in this position? Well, um, you, you may have seen that there's a possible um, fork by the queen. That is, at some point, black can play queen to this square, h4, basically checking the king and attacking this undefended pawn on d4. And um, white should see this and should probably play pawn to g3, which stops that threat dead in its tracks. Um, white, I think, didn't see that and played bishop e2, uh, which I think is a clear mistake. I've then got um, bishop takes bishop. Um, I probably um, white should take back with the king and we move to position something like that um, it's not what he did he took with um, the Queen I should just say going back to that um, position um, of course black can take this pawn instead of this pawn um, however I think this is preferable for white because at least he has now opened up uh, this file and I can see later he could put a rook on this file and that could cause me some damage my, to my king. And this key pawn on d4, which is holding this whole chain together, um, at least stays intact. So if I'd been white, I would have preferred that variation. But instead, white took back with the queen. Uh, that enabled me to come in with check on h4. Um, and... And black played um, obviously he, he can't play knight to f2 defending the check and also defending this pawn at the same time because I've got rook and queen both bearing down on f2 so basically why played g3 the movie should have played before I then took this pawn um, and white castled so um, Yeah, in this position, I'm 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 now a, a, a pawn up, and um and 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 feeling pretty good about things. Um. And I could play um. Uh, knight takes e5, winning another pawn. I'm probably a little bit worried about at some point this knight coming into f4. And this pawn being difficult difficult to defend, so I played bishop g6 first. Um, and white put a rook on the f-file. Um, probably knight f4 would have been, in this position, white's best move. Threatening to take the bishop. Um, and doubling my pawns. Um... And uh, obviously, if I move here, this is a fairly uncomfortable place for the bishop to be sitting. Um, I can easily see it could be pushed back by this pawn. And if I go here, defending the pawn on e6, well, it's sort of hemming in my rook. Um, so I think knight f4 would have been um, white's best move, but he played rook um, hf1. Um, I then took the pawn on e5 and 
and I think um, knight takes e e5 or or knight f4 are both better than the move that white played which is rook f4 he's probably hoping to to trap my queen um it's a sort of desperate move really um but of course it's not going to work because i've got knight takes uh knight check um bishop takes knight rook takes rook um pawn takes rook bishop takes d3 queen takes d3 and queen takes f4 check and that's a, 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 a sort of forced variation um which leaves black uh two pawns up and it's pretty much game over i think at this point um we had a few more moves black played king to b1 and um I could have taken the pawn on h2, um, but best not to be greedy. Um, I'm in a winning position. I've got two connected past pawns here, and I think my best way to finish this game off quickly is to push those forward. So I played pawn to e5, and then white played rook f1, I played queen h4 uh, rook f5 i played queen sorry um queen f5 and i played here queen f6 so um why did i play that move well with queen f6 i'm offering the exchange of queens um Clearly exchanges are good for me. If we could remove all the pieces, that is the queens, the knights and the rooks from the board and just leave the pawns, it's a pretty straightforward win with no possibility of counterplay for white. So interestingly, um, the chess.com um, analysis engine puts my queen um, to f6 down as a mistake. Um, I, I think it's um, it's wrong um, I really do think in this position an exchange of Queens would, would, would suit black um, white didn't take the Queen exchange quite correctly Queen h3 Queen g6 check King b2 uh, Knight f6 Queen e3 by white and this of course was a mistake a, a, a blunder really because it gives away a piece um, black has d4 which I played uh, a pawn for king um, king sorry queen and, and knight and um, even if I even if white was to try something like this some desperate counter play I, I've got take knight and it's check at the same time so um, Black's going to find himself at least a piece down and one or two pawns down, and, and White resigned. So I don't know whether uh, or not um, I understand the Slav defence. Um, you can be the judge of that, perhaps. I won this game. In round one of the tournament, I, I won two and a half games out of six and progressed to the second round. In the second round, I won seven games out of ten, playing five as white, five as black, and progressed. And in the final round, I've won two and a half out of five with one to play. And it looks like I'll come second. Um, so I've, I've done pretty well. And uh, because of this, I think I'm going to start looking more seriously at playing the Slav as my main um, defence to, to the Queen's Pawns opening. I hope you enjoyed this game. Um, come back and see some more. Bye for now.